Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use a shift register to create a musical canon. So I have a shift register running here in Ornament and Crime. This is the copier machine mode and we're going to have some fun with it. Now you may be wondering what is a shift register? Well, you can think about it like a multi-part sample and hold. So the shift register that I have has two inputs. It has a trigger input at the top and a CV input at the bottom. Now what it does is it takes this incoming CV voltage and it samples and holds it every time it receives a trigger signal and then releases it and samples another value when it receives another trigger signal. Now it has four outputs and what it does is it acts kind of like a delay in that it passes the previously sampled voltage down a chain like this. Now there are some famous examples of shift registers. There is the Buchla 266 Source of Uncertainty, an iconic module, and its Eurorack spin-offs, the Sputnik West Coast Random Source, the Verbose Random Sampling. There are also the Surge um, Analog Shift Register, and its kind of Eurorack um, clone, I guess, the uh, Synthesis Technology Quad Temporal Shifter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a incoming CV voltage from the Richter noise ring, and we're going to use it to create a musical canon using first the Platts and Mangrove oscillators. And I'm going to show you how you can have a little fun with tuning them to get different results. And then we're going to add a third oscillator, and uh, I'll show you that. So to begin, I'll just bring up the audio level here. This is a sound of Platts and Mangrove running through the wired bogey filter, so I can... You can hear that this is at work, basically. And the oscillators are tuned to unison, which is important at least for now, and I'll show you more on that later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a CV signal here from the Richter noise ring. Now in this patch, everything is color-coded, so audio signals are in gray and black. The CV signals are in green, and we have the volts per octave kind of pitch signal in blue here for your convenience. So I'm going to take the Richter noise ring 1 output. It's being attenuated by maths channel 2 and I'm going to plug it into the Ornament and Crime copier machine. And you'll hear very quickly that we're going to have a musical canon. Here we go. Now if I slow it down, you can hear that the mangrove oscillator is being delayed by one trigger signal, or one beat really in this case and the ornament of crime is being clocked by the clock output of the Richter noise ring. Now we can have some fun with the tuning here if we change the mangrove formant setting, which basically kind of changes the fundamental that the oscillator is outputting. So I'll just do that really quick. Let me just... <laughs> it doesn't always sound so good. The mangrove is a little bit unstable at times. Now I'm running this through a delay signal here, which is not active at the moment, but I am passing it through magneto, so I can turn that up. You can hear the delay signal. And the delay is being clocked likewise by the Richter noise ring. We're going to take math channel 4 and just quickly modulate the control input of the bogey filter. Now in the copier machine mode, if we pass the CV signal into the CV input 4, we can change the octave. It doesn't always sound so good, but I just want to demonstrate quickly. So 
It's kind of running into a higher register. Let's see if we can push it into a lower one. That's a quickly way, a quick way rather to uh, achieve a change, kind of on the fly. Now where this gets a little more fun is if we add a third oscillator to the mix. So I'm going to turn the delay signal down just for a moment. Here's our original signal. Now I do have the synthesis technology E440 self-oscillating here, and the one bolt per octave signal is plugged into the channel three of Ornament and Crime. So I'm going to add this oscillator. So now we kind of have a three-part cannon going on. If I tune this back up to unison, it should be a little bit more obvious. I'm going to add the delay signal back in. That was kind of nice. We can also, of course, play with our CV source. So the noise ring, incidentally, is kind of based on a shift register. You have these four sections here, kind of corresponding to the four outputs of the ornament and crime shift register. I'm just gonna play with change a little bit. Lock a sequence in. If we increase change, change the clock speed too, just for fun. Now maybe the three-part cannon is a little bit more obvious. Alright, and I think I'll leave you with that. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to hear more, and I'll see you next time.